so methods of uh, pretensioning we have seen there are the two basic methods of pretensioning that that's pretensioning in which the steel is tensioned prior the concrete get hardened or prior, prior the concrete get poured and another one is the post tensioning in which the steel is tensioned after the concrete get hardened this is the basic difference between these two methods in details we will be seeing what is the difference between these two methods first pretensioning as we have discussed that in pretensioning uh, the wires tendons are uh, not tendons sorry the wires or uh, strands are uh, pretensioned before the concrete get hardened or before the concrete uh, is poured into the form work after the concrete get hardened the tension force is released by cutting the ten, uh, by cutting these strands और क्या होता है कि जब ये टेंशन रिलीज करते हैं हम इन टेंडन दिस टेंशन इज ट्रांसफर्ड टू द कॉन्क्रीट ड्यू टू द ग्रेट बॉन्ड बिटवीन द स्टील एंड सराउंडिंग कॉन्क्रीट सो द कॉन्क्रीट गेट प्रिस्ट्रेस्ड इट विल गेट स्ट्रेस्ड बाय अ कॉम्प्रेसिव स्ट्रेसेस सो अ कॉम्प्रेसिव स्ट्रेस वुड बी इंड्यूस्ड इन इट प्रिटेंशन इज यूजुअली डन विद द प्रीकास्ट मेंबर ओनली दिस इज नॉट डन ऑन साइट suitability and advantages of the pre stressing uh, pre stress uh, members so this method is the suitable for a factory production as you can see in the uh, in the bottom of this slides this is uh, the uh, factory production of a uh, sleeper you can say sleepers as you can see here uh, wire or a strand is attached at one end of the abutment and it is attached uh, on another abutment passing through a number of the form works a number of the uh, form works of a unit it is a tension prior to the concrete uh, is uh, poured and then concrete is poured after the concrete get hardened then tensile force is applied to each of the unit by cutting the tendons at the end of the unit so this tendon tries to shrink and this is get prestressed so this method is a very simple again this is one advantage as you can see there is a no uh, complexity in applying the stress uh, many member can be casted at one time and the uh, method is economical this advantage of the pretensioning is that uh, the size of the member is limited as we cannot uh, transfer a precast member from uh, one place to another if it is having a greater size or a greater length uh, so the size is restricted another loss of the prestress is more in case of a pretensioning and it ranges from 20 to 25% so let us see what happens in post tensioning post tensioning as we have discussed that in post tensioning tendons are tensioned uh, prior uh, Uh, after the concrete get hard and uh, for this tendons uh, uh, the what we can say a duct which is made up of a metal or a plastic uh, is uh, placed for passing the tendons through it and then concrete is poured after the concrete get hardened these tendons or wires are stressed from one end or other from the both end depend uh, it depends uh, so these wires or tendons are tensioned after the concrete get hardened and achieve a sufficient strength to withstand with this pre stress okay these ducts uh, after passing the tender or after stressing the tendons these ducts may be filled with the grout if required if we require a bonded tendon we need to fill this duct with a grout if we require unbonded tendon then let the duct be empty and this can be done either as a pre cast or cast in place so the pre stressing can be done on site also the suitability and advantages of the post tensioning method it is suitable for both cast in situ and pre cast members as compared to the pre tensioning the loss of the pre stress in post tensioning is uh, quite less and it ranges from 18 to 20% we will see it in losses there is a no limit of a casting uh, means uh, as uh, these members can be cast on uh, site also so there is a no limitation of the size of the member so this is one of the advantage this advantage of the post tensioning that it is costlier as compared to the pre tensioning because it requires uh it requires a sheathing and grouting sheathing uh, which is costlier uh, which is made up of a, a metal tube or sometimes uh, or a, a plastic tubes but it requires of uh, it requires a great quality inside the tube to avoid the friction losses so it is uh, costlier as compared to the pre tensioning these are the side photographs as you can see this is the member which is tensioned these are the hydraulic jacks 
using of which uh, by using these uh, the wires or uh, strands can be uh, stressed to a higher tension now the difference between the two methods as we have discussed just uh, let us summarize it difference between these two methods the method is best suitable for a factory production under a controlled condition while the post tensioning method is suitable for uh, cast in situ and the precast members loss of stress is higher 20 to 25% and in post tensioning uh, the loss of stress ranges from 18 to 20% only so in this uh, aspect the post tensioning is uh, is preferable the size of the member is restricted due to the large uh, because the large members are more difficult to transfer uh, while in post tensioning the, there is no restriction on the size of the members because it can be casted on site also of course pre tensioning is economical and post tensioning is not uh, economical is costlier due to the use of the uh, ducts and the grout for pre tensioning the minimum grade of concrete to be used is m40 while in post tensioning the code allows us to use m30 also so this is the basic uh, difference between the pre tensioning and post tensioning now the system of pre stressing as we have discussed pre tensioning and post tensioning the tendons or wires or strands are subjected to a high tension and these strands and tendons needs to be anchored to the uh, end of the member this is very important if the tendons or wires are not properly anchored or some slip happens then there will be a loss in a initial stress so it is very necessary to take care of anchoring these tendons so a uh, various methods and various technologies are developed to anchor these tendons or these pre tensioned wires at the end of the members in pre tension system the hoyer system is used in hoyer system uh, or a long line method is often adopted in pre tensioning as we, uh, we have discussed earlier uh, the casting of a railway sleeper is done using this system wires or a tendons are tensioned in between the two abutment as you can see in a figure below it uh, the wires and tendons are tensioned passing through the formwork of a various units and it is tensioned with the help of the jacks okay this is called as a casting bed and this is a continuous tendon so a number of the beam can be cast at a time after the tensioning these tendons the concrete is poured and after concrete achieve a sufficient strength uh, these tendons are cut and the tension is passed uh, to the uh, each unit uh, now this unit will be a pre-stressed each unit so this is the hoyer system what happens in hoyer system let us see what is hoyer effect as you can see in this figure this is the original diameter of the bar after the stressing this bar due to the portions effect the diameter of bar will get reduced so after uh, concrete get hardened after the concrete get hardened uh, we will cut this bar from this end after cutting this bar uh, or after cutting this wire this wire will sink into the concrete as you can see in this portion the concrete uh, sorry this wire get sink into the concrete because it was under a high tension and uh, you can see that from here from this section from here up to this length here bar achieve its original diameter means here the strain lateral strain is zero here lateral strain is high means the bar is achieving its uh, original diameter through the transmission length we can say 
this is the transmission length what is transmission length the length required to uh, transmit the tension into the wire to the concrete that length is called as a transmission length uh, as we have till this length uh, by a, another name that is a development length in rcc work here it is called as a transmission length okay so as at the end the wire gets its a uh, wire achieve its original diameter so you can see it forms a wedge wedge like shape for the length uh, called as uh, for the length of transmission length okay so this wedge uh, forms a one type of a grip into the concrete if you can imagine this is the force which is pulling this wire in this direction and here is the formation of a wedge aur ye wedge form hone ki wajah se ye jo wire jo khicha ja raha hai it will not get slip into the concrete okay this is called as a hoyer effect and uh, then in post tensioning post tensioning the first uh, there are various uh, system the first system which we are going to discuss about a fresnet system uh, introduced by a french engineer uh fresnet and it was the first method to be introduced aur isme use hote hai 5 mm se lekar to 7 mm diameter ke wire and 12 uh, in number and are grouped into the cable with a helical spring inside okay the helical uh, the pro, uh, or the motto of providing the helical spring inside the duct is uh, to form a wobble less duct means there should not be a wobbling into the duct also the spring keeps a proper spacing uh, for uh, the wire and does provides a channel uh, which can be uh, cement grouted now we will see the working of this in this diagram you can see uh, what is the fresnet uh, system of uh, anchoring anchoring the tendon it consists of a conical uh, wedge made up of uh, metals and having a grooves on its surface okay and this is the plate having a uh, again the conical these are the conical wedges okay these are the conical wedges which is placed in place after these tendons are tensioned as these uh, anchoring wedges having a conical shape as these conical uh, wedges are pulled into uh, inside the member it will get tightened due to its wedge shape okay so this is the basic uh, thing uh, i will provide one video or a link of one video to understand the working of this whole fresnet cable system this is a duct to pour a grout and this helical spring which you can see here outside this uh, will act as a shear reinforcement at the uh, at the end of the members okay now another one another system is a uh, in magnal blatten system you can see uh, the two wires can be stressed at a time and uh, in certain conditions a uh, 64 wires can be used in this uh, way <coughs> the duct is of a square shape and uh, the wires are stressed like this so you can see this is the black wedge after stressing these two wires at a time this wedge is inserted into the uh, into this slot and due to the tension this wedge get automatically fitted against the surrounding plate and wire okay so this is the basic principle of working of magnal batten system vertical distance between the layer of the wire is 4 mm and uh, these wedges are uh, made up of 20 mm uh, thick plate okay so the maximum number of the wire that can be stressed uh, into a single unit is 64 or accordingly we can use as we uh, we can see here this is the system made for eight wires 
so this is magnal pattern system here i have listed uh, the advantages of the magnal pattern system and uh, the working of the magnal pattern system which i have uh, discussed uh, right now go through it now another uh, one is a lee mccall system in a lee mccall system uh, simply a bar steel bar having a thread at its end is inserted into a uh, members uh, these bars having the threads at its ends and uh, these bars are tensioned using a nut washer and end plates so advantage of this system <coughs> is like this this system is very simple member can be stressed and distressed at uh, as desired the loss of the stress can be overcome by uh, pre-stressing or re-stressing with the uh, steel rods of course the equal stressing in bar is possible stressing can be done in steps in this system by tightening uh, the nut at any stages only the disadvantage here is that it cannot be applied to a large span members it can be applied to a members or it is suitable for a member having a span between 20 to 15 uh, meter high pressing instant in intensities cannot be employed a large size bar cannot be used in all members to stress a bar of a greater diameter heavy jacks are required so this system is uh, very very used uh, for a span up to the 12 to 15 meters only so this is one side photograph of a box girder आप अंदाजा लगा सकते हो कि इसके आगे ये इंसान कितना लग रहा है एंड दिस यू कैन सी हियर दिस आर दी टेंडन्स व्हिच आर टेंशन यूजिंग फ्रेजिनेट एंकरिंग सिस्टम ओके या हेरोल जैक एट स्ट्रेचिंग एंड यू कैन सी हियर दिस इज द एंड प्लेट to which these cables are attached okay and here is the hydraulic jack uh, which will uh, push this plate away from the end of the member so that these wires or these strands will be stressed so see in uh, second picture the initial gap which was this much only is now increased up to this this final gap it means that these wires are stressed means there will be a strain of course corresponding stress will be induced into the wires thank you for holding your patience and being with us in the next session we will be dealing with the analysis of pre stress concrete sections till then bye and take care of yours